welcome back so in this video we will be seeing how we can create images or diagrams in latex so what i mean by creating images is uh, creating some sine curve or some mathematical curves that we can use later or which can be modified dynamically by providing some macros or some values that we input those are called as hyperparameters those normally we see in uh, different uh, mathematical equations like when we calculate something or when we estimate a function so similar thing can be done in order to create a diagram in latex so let's see how we can do that so i will show you what i was saying so something like this so this is not a image that is already inserted but this is produced with the help of a code so that we can see right now so for this um, we have the document class the same um, so uh, mind you this document class that is this particular one is used to create documents with a header as well as a footer that you can see here so for these kind of documents that if you wish to create such things so these are usually created for assignments so you can make use of this particular document class then you have the uh, utf8 encoding the english language uh, package uh, there will be some tables so for that you have book tabs and x color mathematical equations and symbols then some fancy headers then pgf plots we will be using this heavily so with the help of this thing this package will be creating certain images uh, into this and then these are some offset and some parameters that you can uh, configure prior when you uh, load those images and then there is tix library so tix is a well-known library for creating flow diagrams or images uh, which we'll also see later and some page styles fancy and fancy header and yeah and then r head is for the document head uh, which is towards the right okay um, assignment uh, 6.4 uh, then the activation functions uh, that is to the left of the header what i mean is this particular page that is activation functions l head and assignment 6.4 if you wish to change this you can do it here in this particular field and our food is the page number that you can see so this is the very first page page 2 looks like this page 3 and this is page 4 so this is a four page document that we'll see here you can see the file outline okay so what we have taken is uh, we have taken some activation functions so these are nothing but used for um, mathematically estimating uh, deep learning techniques so for calculating purpose so this is a theoretical document where we'll see uh, each of the functions how we can create a actual diagram of that particular activation function pros and cons of it so that is this file outline okay we define the title of the document machine learning uh, the name of the author the date and then we begin the document and inside that we first make the title so you can see the title the author and the date that is created okay then we begin the document okay then inside that we have the first activation function that is rectified linear unit relu and inside that we have centering so remember centering is used to define the image at the very center of the document then we begin tix picture so like i said you have this tix library so inside this library you have a um, command that is tix picture okay so with the help of this we begin creating that diagram so whatever you see from line number 33 to 42 is the result of this particular diagram okay so let's see so first we can see like uh, it starts with begin axis and inside that we provide a list of parameters uh, it's nothing but axis lines is equal to middle so axis line starts from the middle that is this red 
this black one which starts right here okay this particular line if you can see my pointer okay and then you have x max is equal to 6 so it is the x-axis okay and x min likewise you have minus 6 y min is minus 0 0.05 okay uh, if you can see this uh, image okay this is somewhere here okay so it's very minute then you have y max that is 5.05 .05, which is here okay so it's little above 5 okay then x label label of the x axis okay i gave it as x and label of the y axis dollar y so i just want to make this look in a more mathematical way since it's a mathematical uh, curve so for that purpose and then i create this particular uh, plot with the help of add plot command and inside that i pass values like domain minus 5.5 to 5.5 in which i want to create this and some samples for which i will be estimating this red line okay uh, yeah and then uh, the thickness of that line and uh, which color it should be so it will be in red color and its maximum value 0 to x so these are nothing but uh, more to this particular function uh, you can make any other uh, diagram so the main purpose is not creating this uh, this only particular image but you can make any other images also like sine curve or cosine curve uh, like you have learned in the high school so the sole purpose of this is to show you how you can create images uh, using tix library uh, at the beginning it may find little complicated but as you understand the syntax it's very easy to make okay so um, yeah so you can see that um, the domain that we have mentioned here it's minus 5.5 .5. so if you look at closely to this the red line stops here somewhere okay uh, yeah and then it's 5.5 .5. so it's somewhere larger than 5 okay yeah so so that completes one particular diagram and then below that you have some uh, things written in bullet points that is which goes in itemize and so since it's a mathematical equation so we have to define it mathematically so um, the equation of this so it's a relu equation max uh, you write it like this between two dollar signs for denoting an equation like you can see here so yeah uh, Practically speaking, like uh, when you put some values to this function, you get this particular curve. So that's what I explained uh, with the help of this this particular diagram is a resultant of this uh, ReLU function. Okay, and then uh, you have some equations here, some side conditions if x is greater or equal to 0 what will be the value and if it's less than 0 what will be the value and so on and there are some uh, bullet points that's written so you can read it later just for the completion of this document i have made it like this okay uh, there are some pros and cons to this thing yeah that you can see here so that completes uh, one particular uh, diagram yeah so now we move on to next activation function or next diagram that is called as elu that is exponential linear unit so this is another variant of the above curve that we have seen so yeah to this curve there will be some modifications not too much but it looks something like this okay and we have made it in a different way so that uh, you get to know what are the different ways how you can create and put some legends within this thing like you can see here uh, how you can do that so for this also same uh, you begin inside a text picture and you declare a function very first uh, for this elu activation function so that you can read up uh, so a is a hyperparameter that we put here in order to modify it dynamically and this is the equation 
of elu uh, yeah so mind you this is not the thing that we put here this is not with the legend but for the curve in order to dynamically create this we have to define prior so that's why we are declaring a function okay so we have not yet moved to this thing okay this box this box is called as a legend we have not moved to that but just we are defining a function okay then comes a new command elu threshold so later this particular command will be used to create this curve according to your requirement so let's see uh, inside uh, begin access you have a legend position that is northwest so first Uh, this rectangle box okay inside a square we have this rectangle so it should be at the northwest okay else if it's moved to the right then northeast then this curve might not be visible so for that purpose the legend position the style the font of it uh, so that's a script size whatever is defined in this document so that goes here then row and separate by 5 cm okay um, that is this spacing between these numbers okay and ticks and every odd column and append style and column separation is very little uh, as you can see minus 3 minus 2 this gap is considerably smaller as compared to this so the row ones are little uh, larger so if you make in that way then this diagram can be made little more appealing or realistic so that's the sole purpose you can tune in your hyperparameters or values as per your wish and then you have add plot and inside that uh, i put the color as red then there are no marks okay there are no marks on this usually when we draw a curve we get some dots over this thing so i have not put that so that's why mark is equal to none we take for 100 samples and we plot in a domain from minus 3 to 3 so you can see the tail of this is at minus 3 and it stretches up to this positive 3 okay this thing so this is what this plot does and now uh, there is a threshold function that acts so now you want to make this curve little bent so you can see like this is not the same as above there is a slight modification so in order to uh, have that modification you can uh, actually code into the language of like how you put here okay the actual mathematical expression that you can write in text and it will understand and it will uh, make the diagram accordingly so Uh, if x is less than elu threshold then uh, this applies to when x is less than threshold value and it will add to the function so this is not a discontinuous curve it's a continuous curve so we want to append it and when x is greater than elu threshold uh, x plus elu uh, threshold this value okay and so this will be a joined curve okay so that's why we are basically adding it and we then add the legend entry uh, minimum height uh, 3 ex and text depth 1.5 ex so ex is a unit and then uh, inside this box as you can see we want to put the values okay so this values are put with the help of this elu x and begin cases if x greater than 0 elu threshold what it should be and if it's the alpha then what value it should have so you basically know how this curve is created and yeah likewise you get this particular curve so and then below that you have the mathematical expression that goes here so that is the same as above which we have seen uh, yeah so yeah uh, we have begin gather and inside the cases we write the mathematical equation okay begin cases is one uh, then you can use begin equation in order to actually write a equation for this particular uh, uh, document i have made use of begin cases and you can make use of the same equation like you have put in this legend 
yeah and some text here pros and cons of this then uh, we have uh, another variant called as SELU scaled exponential linear unit so similarly like we had above we declare a function we put some hyperparameters a and l that is for uh, make this function work selu so it looks like this okay it looks like a sickle a slight sickle so that is made with the help of this exponential function and yeah almost every entry same uh, from the above uh, but there are some slight uh, yeah difference here itself okay some samples uh, 100 and yeah uh, just the activation function is the different rest all things are the same so it's pretty easy like how you can create okay just the function you have to properly code here okay legend entry here and you can get this diagram okay and then some text and we move to a final uh, plot that is leaky relu that is leaky rectified unit uh, i can show you the diagram it looks like this okay uh, if you can notice there is a short dip here you can see there is a small gap so that gap we want to encode into this so how you can do is it's the same like the first diagram as you saw this one but here it's with a little dip okay on the negative axis so most of the things remains the same if you have understood the code then uh, this is the place where we add it that is max 0 0.01 multiplied by x plus x okay so that you can see here if x is less than equal to 0 then it will make a dip here so that you can add into the uh, add plot command and then it will do the work accordingly for you okay then yeah it remains the same and some pros and cons so it's pretty easy uh, like if you find this complicated uh, you can just put an in, uh, image and then insert it into this but uh, by doing that what happens is like usually the document quality reduces and you will get a little blur image so not to have a sharp and crisp image for this pdf documents it's very good and advice to make use of this uh, ticks uh, code in order to create these diagrams these kind of diagrams uh, uh, for this particular document and not only this there are other flow diagrams also possible process diagrams step diagrams flow charts classification trees which are easily available or codes which are also available i will show you in the next videos how you can create those diagrams as well so well that was all regarding in this video hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thanks for watching